Oh boy, we're back, folks. Another episode of the Josh Potter Show. Thank you for joining us. I, of course, am Josh Potter, and you can come see me live. I hope you come out August 6th to the nightcap right here in Southern California in Burbank. Big, fun show. I have no idea what I'm going to say on stage because it is all decided by the audience. Me, Sarah Weinshank, Kim Congdon, and Johnny Pemberton at the nightcap in Burbank. Get your tickets up on my Instagram at Josh underscore Potter. Uh, Twitter is at J underscore Potter. Also, September 29th through October 1st. I'll, of course, be at Skank Fest October 20th through 21st. Soul Joel's in Pottstown, PA. Then in December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd, La Jolla Comedy Store. And, of course, near Christmas time, Side Splitters. Those are all the tickets on sale. Side Splitters in Tampa Bay, by the way. All those are on sale right now. Adding more very, very shortly. I'll let you know about that. Twitch.tv slash Josh underscore Potter. Been streaming on there during my jail July that I've been telling you about. But also, uh, we've got uh, the cameo. I, it's on the list to plug it. So go there and do it. I mean, I was I gave up on the on the shoulder hair action for a while. I brought it back for Father's Day. I thought that was a good time to bring it back. But if you're bored in the summer and you need some shoulder hair action, get on over there. And today, my guest, I'm so excited that he's here. It's been uh, I've been wanting him to come in here for quite a while, and he is a professional athlete, a broadcaster, a singer, a man of stage and screen. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jason Ellis. Yeah. Of course, the Jason Ellis show. You know him from there. You know him from working with Tony Hawk. And now the X Games, man. I'm so pumped for you. Are we allowed to talk about that? Yeah. The best. Okay. What's your hair thing on Cameo? What is? What are you talking about? Well, you know, right now we're in the nice boy clock. And with I, I learned this from Ryan Sickler with you. What did you say, the, the nice boy? Yeah, we keep the oh. nice boy clock nice for the Wait, first 10 minutes. You got. You should be saying that before the show starts. I, 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 try I have to, a sign in my studio that tells everybody... You got to you know you got to know who you're having on. No, I know. You trying to be cool to YouTube? I because hey, here's the thing with you. Look YouTube, at me. I don't want to be cool to YouTube, but you know. Are we kinda... trying to be YouTube cool right now? Just for 10 minutes. All you got to do is tell me that's what you want and I can do that. I I think I thought you could have done it. I was going to lead the conversation that way. I didn't that's think That's what's happening gonna... though. Yeah, no, we'll be, we'll be all right though. Okay. But when it comes no, to it's the tremendous. cameo, I, love I can't talk about the cameo in the nice oh, clock wow. because it's yes, it's exactly. It's naughty. It's naughty. Got it. And I want the. I was going to tell the folks I because I know who we have here today. I talk. I talk with Ryan Sickler, obviously I'm all the loud, time. I just realized. Sorry. No, you're great. And I came from the X Games. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> in front of a microphone, I'm like, let's go. And I'm like, dude, calm Words down. Words out here at the vert ramp. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, no. <laughs> Over to you. You're like, I can't. Sorry. No, but I I talk to Sickler all the time, and he's like, you're having Jason Ellis on. I'm like, yeah. He goes. You're going to get demonetized. That's, not fair. That's so, well, Just so you know. So I told him, I go, I don't mind. You know, whatever. I want the nice boy clock, though. When it hits 10 minutes, we usually have a little confetti. It goes off. It's like a little party. Let's just I want it to nice. be Oppenheimer today. Let's just stay nice. No, because I have things I want to ask you about post 10 minutes. Okay. So we'll get into all that, and I'll tell you about the cameo then. Do you know the Jason uh, L show is in the nice thing? All the time. We don't on now on the Jason L show. I have a Patreon show where we do more of like what we used to on Sirius, mm -hmm. but the Jason L show, the free podcast that's available everywhere, that is, we just don't we don't bleep it. I mean, if one happens, we'll bleep it, but we just don't use that word. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of because we had I had twenty years of being able to say whatever I want, right? So it's kind of fun for me to do an hour where. I just choose another word. You know, it's or funny. Tell I, another story. I worked for 15 years in terrestrial radio, and when Sirius came about, everyone was like, "Oh man, they get to do whatever they want." Yeah. But I thought it's kind of fun to dance the line as much yep. as you can. When there are rules set, it's fun to see how close you can get to it. And there's a little more cut and dry in radio than it is with YouTube. YouTube can just all of a sudden be like, "No," and it can, and it doesn't, no. and you don't even know why. Right. That's the thing that I think is. It, the more irritating yeah because it's your business right it's your passion and you just got in trouble and you're not even sure why you don't even know why and yeah. i would like them to tell me because if they're because yeah. it is fun to play with the, within the rules i know that sounds like cuck mentality or whatever out there you know but i it's enjoy a better way it. to look at it yeah because you sure. can't deny it you can't do you anything know, we about don't it. own it so what am i gonna can't... rail against it and be like right. are you i'm gonna go over to rumble who yeah. gives a shit? 
I remember those days. So let's rebel against it. I'm like, well, let's let's work it out. Yeah. That's, that's new <laughs> yeah, me. You know? yeah, yeah, I like that. Let's try to survive. That's something that comes with age and with experience and yeah. all of that kind of thing. Headbutting a brick wall. What the hell was going on back there? It sounded like you were ripping a bomb. Oh, sorry. I was close, too close to the water bottle on that one. Now you got to keep that in because I referenced it. <laughs> sorry. It sounded like I was like, hey, I want some in there. I, yeah, like a dog. I, my ears perked right. up all of a sudden. I'm like, is, are they ripping bombs back there without me? They didn't even right. tell me they had bombs? No, it's all of a sudden that room is more exciting than this room. I know. That's not cool. I would have been upset. I would have been very upset. But uh, I wanted to talk because you are, for those who don't know, I mean, you are like a renaissance man. Yeah. In today's time, now you're you're more leaning towards the broadcasting sense of sports. But you were a professional skateboarder and MMA uh, fighter. Yeah, I mean these are all things. So you have empathy towards injuries. Oh yeah, yeah. You've had so many injuries. I know you've had like yeah. You know, I was are particularly bad for a professional athlete too. <laughs> <laughs> like you can meaning ask you anybody. got hurt quite a bit. Yeah, I was less uh, talented, but mm. but but had um, I had a lot of gusto. Okay, so you, so you that, put that your combination. All in it. If it worked, it was good, mm. but very rarely did it work. No one's going to get this reference, but you're like Ilya Labushkin, play with a lot of heart, never healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, but good slams, you know, because I'm bigger too. So sure, like big big explosions. You yes, know, people loved it. I uh, I recently got an injury. I uh, I f-ed up my neck, mm. and it's been bad. So if I'm turning, you just did an f bomb. Is that okay? We're okay is fine Whoa. right well we'll that's it. not what i thank heard. you i'm sorry maybe i'm maybe i'm wrong maybe it's changing even worse than before i did do an f-bomb though thank you for pointing it out and i'm sorry youtube it's i heard it's lo- it, it's not the it's the whole show it's not 10 minutes as well well we're not we're you know that? we're gonna stick out the way we've been going we've been doing all, yeah. right. all right but we'll see what happens this i know episode. you're on fire but Matt, i want to interview you how, how many tour dates do you have how are, uh, not that many. That's a lot, isn't it? It's not no, a lot. we're a little upset actually about how many oh, tour really? dates we have. Yeah, we've been okay. Well, then feel this. If I had that, I would be freaking out right now. About I, what? If I had that many tour dates, I would be so pumped on myself right now. Like, I when you said it, I had a little like pre jizz. Like I, I was like, oh, one day if I keep going. I'll say as many dates as he said. But this is the rest of the isn't year. Isn't that funny? This isn't just next month. I know. Isn't that funny, though? <laughs> like, I swear, if I had that, like, if my manager was like, here's your tour dates for the end of the year, I'd be like, dude, I am on fire. Well, what I'm excited about for the most, I should be thankful and great. Yeah, have gratitude and stuff about uh, the fact that those are headlining dates. But when I was a road S- middle, I had way more dates is what I'm saying. But, it, you uh, know, now I'm headlining, so I should be more thankful despite the... Uh, yeah, that sounds like amount. a champagne problem to me. Yeah, no, I'm fine with it. I'm, yeah. I'm not, uh, but you know, sometimes I'm, I'm like- I'm just saying, half full champ. You know? I just want to work. You know what I'm saying? Grind yeah. me into dust. That's what I tell these people. But Really? Yes, yes exactly. Do you I really? love the road so much. I If I'm home too long, which I am right now, jail July, I'm just spending it doing push-ups, streaming on Twitch, not going outside, it's too hot, and doing this podcast. That's jail July. And that is because I'm not on the road. And I, if I'm not on the road and I typically am just sitting at home, I am out of untethered. I am gone. You do gone. push-ups? I have, I'm starting to. I you just started. You do squats. Okay. It's I'm going to add those you. to the list. Yeah. Do they help? Uh, they help the your core thing? makes your whole body look less fat. Will it help me? We're almost there. I was going to ask if they help. Would help me in intercourse better? Yep. Okay, that's what I want to do. That's where the power is. That's your the biggest only... muscle besides yes. your thing is in your hammies. Yes, because that's what I want to. That's the only reason I want to work out. Yeah, is to. And if you do squats, you can watch TV while you're doing squats. You can watch TV while you do push-ups. I've learned, no. but I don't really give a shit about watching. TV. Yeah. I listen to music or what have you. Yeah, fair enough. But I had I did hurt my neck. Uh, but my injury came from sleeping. That's where my injuries come from. I find. Supposed now. to keep that to yourself around me. Sleeping. I know. Is that bad? I just who are you? What happened? You know what I mean? What is they? What have they turned people into these days? Well, that's the thing. I am not. Uh, I'm not. I haven't been turned into this. I was born this way. Right. I mean, so it came like, out of the womb, and I. What's going on? I know that I'm not. Necess- I I love sports so much, but, but I you know that not I'm carrots not and stuff, you know? one of them. I don't know. I was born so early, and I don't know what my Were mom was really? doing. Very early, four months premature. Ooh. Yeah. So I don't know if that has Were anything to do with it. Were you supposed to die? I could have. They were thinking I was going to. Sick. So you defeated death. Before I even remember it. Badass. Yep. Okay. And I have- uh, You just moved up. No wonder you next saw. I, I'm apparent, <laughs> according to some therapists, I have lingering trauma Wait. and attachment issues Nuh-uh. due to this. And I don't even remember it. Y- yeah, but I remember when I was- Wait. Uh, when things happened to me, when I was a kid, little baby that were bad, 
I didn't remember them. I still don't remember all of it. Right. It's like too much trauma. But does it come so up if you and you remember tra- it? You recall it when it comes up? Like, do they bring it? Because that's the thing they say, too. Like, you can have repressed memories come yeah. back. But yeah. does that is that the case? I've had MDMA therapy and all that stuff. So you totally, like, like open up little parts of your brain and you can remember stuff that you couldn't remember. Mm. Yeah. I wonder if it Scary. can go back that far, though, from being, like, the first, the right. opening months of life. Probably not. I don't know. But evidently it's affecting me yeah. and my relationships with women. Oh, According to you're these not, therapists. You're not, you're not kicking goals? I'm doing all right, but... Uh, How's your bed? My bed's fine. Is it like... It's actually a nice, it it's the nicest looking? one I've ever owned. I don't know if it's sexy looking, but it's uh, it's got... Uh, n- I've got a multitude of pillows now. Is it I have clean? a headboard. It's clean. You don't, I've have, been, ashtray, I've been having you don't a, have ashtrays near it, do you? No. I've been having uh, a woman over frequently now, so I've been nice. keeping up with things where normally if I was off the road... yeah. And I was un- coming untethered. I would be sleeping during the day, awake during the night, and I would be like this, and the apartment would get messy. Yeah, it's not hot. I have a famous YouTube video online of during COVID, mm. me just coming completely unglued, and my apartment was like hoarders. Right. And everyone thinks that's how I live my life. Do you have more than one room? In my current apartment, yes. Because the sex room is always a good idea. I can't even make it an office. Right now, it's the box room. Right. It holds boxes. So hopefully, That's I mean, hey, hot. that'd be cool. Can I make that a sex room? I keep it yes. closed. That I should make the box room it the takes sex room one with day. the boxes. It takes one day to make one of those rooms. A sex room? Yeah. What do you, what, what kind of- And then you of- only have things in there to bone. So you never put any extra, there's no dog bowls. You don't put your shoes in there. You, it's only NBA jam room. Well, maybe there is dog bowls. You don't know how I bone. <laughs> well, don't don't let the dogs use it as well. I don't have dogs, thankfully. The dog bowls will be for Sorry. the ladies. No, I'm just kidding. But it's pretty uh, hot though. <laughs> I like, I'm gonna write that down. That's a good, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You were the one who were like, keep the dog bowls out. I'm like, that seems like one of the things I'd put in there. Yeah, no, good but, idea. <laughs> now we're out of the nice boy clock, and the nice boy clock has been Oppenheimered. <laughs> I wanted to ask you yeah. because you have been with some people. <laughs> That I consider the top of the mountain. Oh, 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 okay. I thought you were going to go somewhere else. Okay, cool. I don't know where I was going to go, but I was always like, and I, I did a podcast with them, uh, or I guess it was a radio show at Sirius back in like 2019, where I sung their praises up and down about a film that they were in, and uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it was about like, I'm into lesbian porn. I've made no secret about it. It's my yeah. favorite thing. And this person like cute was... cute lesbian porn? Oh, or? yes. This person was in one where it was like she was bullied for being a lesbian, and then she was like finding her... It was... Uh, I, but it's a movie. I can't... It was a porn porn film. A production. But it was so well done, and I was like, you are a tremendous actor. Oh, wow. And I want... I wish you were in mainstream yeah. things, but I'm talking about Kristen Scott. Yes, of course. Oh, She's, Kristen Scott. Yes. I know her. Oh, yes, you do. I mean, I follow her on OnlyFans, and all of a sudden, I'm going through it, you know, as I normally do, buying some things here and there. And one day, I come across Jason Ellis. Hey. And it made it tough for me to, I got to say, uh, to <laughs> pleasure myself to it, only I because I, I've seen you personally. Yeah, no, I, know I you get personally. it. No, I don't like, I wouldn't want to, anybody I'm friends with, I don't want to bone. It's funny because I've become friends with some porn actresses who I used to watch, and then since becoming friends with them, I can't do it anymore. It, this. Pretty is that normal. weird? Is no. it okay? Good. Okay, that's pretty good. I think. think. All right. Cool. I'm normal in some capacity. Like coming on your friends is weird. I mean, that's unless a... they're your sex friends, because I've got sex friends where Ooh. yeah. Just well, that's what I was going to and... say. Is there a difference there? Do yeah. you draw a boundary there? Yeah. If you meet on a, we're probably going to bone friendship. Mm-hmm. Then you I mean then it, it doesn't matter. How do you link up with sex <laughs> friends? Um. Does it like a, a completely like? Is it like doing uh, comedy where it's like, "Hey, I got a show over in uh, you know Van Nuys if you want to come by sometime." Is it the same thing? No, not exactly. No, not like that. It's more, um, you know, one person. Well, it's different for different people. I think getting in when you don't know anybody, it's really hard, and usually for the girl, it's pretty sad. Like the first couple, you kind of. People take advantage of anybody that's amateur and doesn't know the ropes and and, and will take them for everything they've got. So I guess it's a little bit like comedy. (laughs) (laughs) That's true. 
Only it's a advantage in a physical sense. Right. It's like and a monetary like, sense. You're both getting fucked monetarily. Right. It's kind of <laughs> like Hollywood, but with your vagina. Yeah. <laughs> so a lot of stories, you know, even some of my friends that have that have been in it a long time, you know, they make it to to do some sort of uh, I don't know what they call it, special or whatever, where they're going to do a bunch of guys. You know what I mean? And the guys are trying to, you know, people want to see a guy being forceful so they're extra forceful and and she doesn't know him that well so it's 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 a lot like it's not sure. as easy as you think oh i wouldn't think it was easy but for me, me it's just the only fans i got in because my wife needed a stunt dick so i was that and then her friends were like hey can we use him so then i got to do that and then they, they were like the only way we can use you is if you have an, an only fan so i had one but I never told anybody. I never charged any. I just did. I just had it because that's legally what you got to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but to be a stunt dick. Yeah. They changed that at some point because I don't know if uh, you heard. I had, I too have been a stunt dick. Believe it or not. Yeah. Two occasions. Good for you. Guys, nothing. You don't even clap. I mean, you, two. You. two Jesus two, Christ. Oh, okay. I mean, my staff. Here. Sorry, that's huge. No, I was. I'm. I'm. I'm always psyched about it. I think people are like you. Okay, yeah, but no, it's true. I have been, and uh, I mean, I'm not in it. You just see my dick. I feel worse about everything now. Why? I'm joking. Oh, okay. Yeah. About what you were doing, you were saying you don't no, feel as no. proud of it. No, I. I, I love. I'm taking away the shine. <laughs> of I love it. Yeah. No, I was just joking. Okay. No, that's okay. We should all be doing it. If, if you want to do it, you should do it. That's I never got. Saying. I never had to make a thing or get tagged because it was prior to them making that a rule. I okay. feel like more stunt dicks were being used, and they were yeah. like, "You got to put that. You got to give them credit." Yeah. I, I don't think, know if there was a union, a stunt dick union. They've that locked came. it down. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah, because of you know. But now you got your own. Yep. And I mean, good yeah, golly! I got fired I mean, from Sirius, so I don't make any money anymore. So it's actually like, re like really helps. Like I need of it, of course. So now it's kind of turned into a job. May I ask if there's been other professional hands that have come come aboard other than Kristen Scott? Like I oh. that I would recognize. Oh yeah, um, you're like not. You're like ice. Yeah, <laughs> I just don't know um, Arabella. Abella Danger. Uh, oh, or am I thinking of a different person? I don't know. I, 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 there's like a bunch. I'm sure he doesn't even. He's got to look it up. That's crazy. Well, congratulations. I don't. I, don't, I can't. I mean, uh, <laughs> what is it? Cam damage. Do you know okay. Yeah. 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 That's um, cool. That's probably my favorite. Yeah. Yeah, I really like him. That, what about Owen Gray? You ever uh, hang out with him? Uh, uh, I don't think so. Because he's one. I've only he's got a, a few. Because now that I'm doing dudes, then dudes go, "Hey, my friend." saw the video wants to film mm. so that's kind of happening is that easier to do the dudes than it is to do the girl like nah. i mean as far as linking up goes. i thought i'd be too old for cute girls but no uh, they like that i feel a lot of them i don't know if they're just saying that to try and make me feel better but they're like they like a guy that kind of knows a little bit more about what the woman's going through in her head when they're getting right it's a little jammed. bit of a maturity thing that's all yeah definitely not i i look like i bring the damage but i'm not in i mean i'll do it if you want me to but it's not like my i'm not like trying to smash everybody see it's that's the style. thing i would like to ascend to that's why i'm in i'm doing the push-ups and i will incorporate the squats because i would like to i'm not a big uh bring in the damage guy myself but mm. i would like to have that in the arsenal right. if it's requested right it's like having being able to fight i don't want to hurt anybody but if people are being stupid, it's good to have it in your pocket. Yes. Because I'm less worried about any of that stuff. And maybe anymore. I'll get to that someday where I'll learn how to do that too. Just but keep right doing now, squats. I just want to fuck right now, if yeah. that's okay. I would do squats and have five pound weights in my hand. That, that, do okay. plyometrics. Plyometrics makes you stronger than lifting weights. I need, that's noted. I'm going yeah. gonna to take that into consideration. Today's Josh Potter show is brought to us by an app that I have been using probably since its incarnation. I'm talking about the Game Time app, folks. That's right. The days of camping out front in, of the arena for Grateful Dead tickets are over. Bands don't do that anymore. I mean, you've seen it all the time. Buying tickets to your favorite show should be as simple as ordering a pizza, you know? That, thanks to the Game Time app, it is now. Game Time is the fast, easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. And they have killer deals on last minute tickets and the best price guaranteed so you can relax and focus on having fun. You don't have to be all stressed out about buying tickets. I went to July 4th, the 4th of July, America's birthday. 
what's more American than a baseball game on 4th of July? I thought these tickets are going to be astronomical for the Los Angeles Dodgers. I'm talking like the most Americana 4th of July I've ever had in my entire life. I got tickets behind home plate on the game time app, and I could not believe the price of these tickets. I thought I was going to be paying out my nose. I thought I was going to have to get a mortgage payment for these things. No. Thanks to game time, I found a price that I was like, holy hell, look at this. So stop planning your life months in advance. Game time even has deals on tickets right up to the day of the event. You can even tell because every now and then they, they email you. Once you set up an account, they go price drop. And you go, oh boy. I I mean, I got to tell you, I wasn't even thinking about going to the Angels game the a couple of weeks ago. I saw the price drop. $8 tickets to go see two of the greatest players ever, Mike Trout and Shohei Otani. Yeah, I'll take that. Thanks, Game Time app. Thank you. Uh, for those of you who like to see what you're walking into, you can also get images of your seat before you buy. That's my favorite part because I want to see the view, especially at a baseball game, and I know exactly what to expect, and it's always right. So right now you can snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app. Create an account and make sure you use code Potter for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem with the code Potter for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Do you watch any other sports that are like uh, team sports, football, hockey? I used to watch basketball when I did a lot of cocaine and lived in San Diego. I love the Lakers and cocaine. It was a <laughs> sick, co- sick combination. And they won a bunch of times. So it was like, you know what I mean? It was a perfect time to for sure celebrate. But then I think, I don't know. I, I always have, found I cocaine to go well with hockey. I never got into hockey. I just, I used to watch the all the people punching each other, like the compilations of fights. Oh, the fights, yes. But I never really, I mean, I did watch a couple of games, but I never really got into it. It's my, it's one of my top favorites, but I remember, uh, I like the video game, the hockey video games too. And year, yeah. many years ago when I lived in Buffalo, we were uh, we one night one evening during Christmas time, we found a bit of uh, snow, if you will, and uh, we were doing coke and playing the video game, and we played an entire tournament. And I remember uh, after it was done, I said to my friends, "All right, let's start it again. This time we're going to adjust the rules." Both they go, "Josh, it's nine a.m." <laughs> yeah, that's how. It, I mean, I just I, now I just when I hear, I don't really do coke, but when I hear about it, I go, oh, "Hockey, it brings me like a little uh, warm sweater." Yeah. But that's interesting that yours was with basketball in yeah. San Diego, no less. Yeah. I uh, I only ask because, you know, we're going to talk about uh, the sports now. This is the time to get into the sports segment of the oh, show. Oh, okay. And as we were testing things earlier, we started playing this clip. But um, this is uh, Jared Kalenic. Oh, uh, yeah. He's in tears after he uh, is ending his breakout season. I tell, and you want to know how he ended it? I'll tell you after. You can you can hear. Let's see what he says. Out. <laughs> That's so crazy. Look at that haircut too. What is going on with your? <laughs> See, I, I don't watch baseball, but I watched that movie where the guy said there's no crying in baseball. <laughs> yeah, here he is. And he crying. was telling a lady that, and this guy's crying. I don't know which is. I, I think it's fine to cry. Me too. But I don't think. Hold that on, haircut, pause it here. Let's see. That haircut's not cool. Let's. That haircut's That's not, not cool. Like you can't have a baseball guy. What is that supposed to be? Well, you don't like his hair. No. Nah. I feel like that's a Gen Z thing. Is though. he really good? Well, this was his season where he was. Everyone's like, "Holy shit, Jared Kalenic is playing out of his mind." He's getting, and so he was having really a breakout good. year. And so, what happened though? The reason he's crying is because he had a season-ending injury by kicking a cooler after he struck out. Uh, nah, bullshit. Yes. He broke his foot. He needs surgery on it. And he bullshit. Can't play. Swear to, that's why he's crying now. And here you get to hear his explanation. Let's I don't want to hear it. I want to hear what he says about why he kicked the cooler. He I mean, should be naked, and everyone should throw hot dogs <laughs> at him and say, shame. You got to suck it up. You got to get a cortisone shot. Unbelievable. It's on me. Yeah, so is that haircut. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Yeah, I wasn't going to watch baseball, but now I'm really not going to watch it. All right, so loud. I, cause the haircut thing is funny because he wears a hat the whole time. Yeah, well, you should it's... put it back on because that's insane. He all right, looks you like can Jake Paul, but. 
gayer. <laughs> he looks like J-, J. Cole. Did you say? Jake, Jake have- Paul. Oh, Jake Paul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you said J. Cole. I'm like, he has dreads, doesn't he? But uh, that's hilarious. He, his hair. I mean, I never really see many of their haircuts. I he's gotta like say, because they have he's helmets like on. Like if a chicken or like a rooster was a human, <laughs> a gay human. Well, he had so much I'm emotion. I'm allowed to do that. I suck dick. <laughs> I'm allowed to do that. I can say that. He has so much emotion about hitting the cooler with his foot, kicking it, anger, and now he's crying. Do you have video of the, this idiot kicking the cooler? I don't know if we have that video, do we? See if we can find that, Jack. Yeah. Did he kick it in celebration? No, it was in anger. Why? Because Why was he Because he angry? struck out, I think, or there was but like isn't a... He, wasn't he winning... He's having a great life. Right. One would think it wouldn't make a difference it was just about one, one, one fuck up. Yeah. And so that's why I think he's overly emo. I mean, this is a guy. I hear it from ladies all the time and from therapists. You got to regulate your emotions. Well, guess what, Jared Kalenic? Regulate. It's the ego. It's great. And now he's crying about it. I mean, that is that is something that, uh, I mean, he's very young, obviously. These people, yeah. I forget that they're in their 20s on occasion. Is this you, is this just a guy talking about it? Yeah, it looks like <laughs> great. I love those. You can't find anything on YouTube anymore. You can just find people talking <laughs> about it. I guess that goes to that benefit. It was in the fucking cooler. It was uh, filled with Gatorade and ice. Yeah, I guess that's pretty heavy. When I was a kid, one day I uh, ran out of my house, and I didn't mean to kick this thing. I just was. It, I clipped it as I was running by it. It was like a stack of bricks. And I clipped it with my pinky toe, and it made my pinky toe go skadunk. Yeah. And I looked down, I was like, oh, God, it felt like I just stubbed it. Mm -hmm. But when I looked at it, I saw it was in an L, and I went like this. Yep. And that's when it it really hurt. Oh. And then my mom was like, nothing's wrong with your toe. Yeah, you fixed it. I did fix it, but it fucking hurt. Yeah. I got to say. But you could have played the game the next day. I wouldn't have been crying like this. Yes, exactly. I would have been able to. I was like 10, maybe. He's 10. Yeah. A no, he's like guy now he I, I don't know what he exactly I know. I don't know how many bones he broke or whatever. I don't think you're not finding this uh, footage. Are you? No, it seemed like it didn't happen on the field. Like, it seemed like they did well, right. He they ran did. into the they didn't catch it on oh, camera. He uh, went into the dugout. I didn't know if maybe somebody doesn't seem like anything. One of the yet. secondary cameras, you know, in the stadium. Roach reporters, let us know if you find it. Well, these stadiums out it's there probably lying. If there's no video, he's lying. No, I mean, it was reported. I mean, the the press would really love to get to the bottom of why he has a season ending injury that didn't occur on the field. You know what I mean? Uh, the but mafia did it. There's <laughs> yeah, there's a mafia hit on his foot. They would probably do a little bit worse to him. There's so many cameras though pointed at everything in these fields. Like exactly. they catch people fucking in the upper decks. They can't catch Jared Kalenic kicking this fucking cooler yeah. after a little while. But we're in a real lull for um the sports that I follow. It's the summertime. We just have baseball right now. But maybe I mean you, this when does the summer X Games? You just got back from them, so when do it they just ended yesterday? Just ended. God, see, I'm so out of. I'm a winter guy though. You're doing the winter too. Apparently, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And do you have you skied and all those things too in the yeah, extreme yeah. sports? So you're you're well versed in that one too. Yep. Awesome. What's your favorite? What out of all sports? No, in the winter, I'm saying. Oh, um, I figured you like skateboarding the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I thought maybe in the winter, maybe it, is yeah, it snowboarding? Yeah, I like snowboarding. Or? I probably like. Um, yeah, I used to like half pipe the most because I'm a half pipe skater, but mm-hmm. they just spin too much, in my <laughs> opinion. Yeah, I know they're trying to do what they've got to. You know, I know that that's you got to win, but it's just I don't know, ten eighty, twelve six, just gets like after a while the rotations like, become hack. Yeah, they do six walls <laughs> where they just spin like helicopters, and I'm like, I, I can't even see the style in it anymore. Right, right. So it's I just feel, uh, velocity at this. Yeah, point. I feel like the park thing where they, you know, they do those rails and. Yeah, and those huge gaps where when they do spin, the gap is so big that it's kind of, I don't know, it's a slower spin. I get, I can see more of how they're controlling themselves in the air. I like that the best. All right, and what I about, like the and skiing too. And I didn't like skiing, but I love skiing. Those so dudes much. that hit all that stuff—that's crazy. The uh, yeah, well, the they just look like propellers up there, and they're. Do- I mean, I love I love the skiing almost more than the snowboarding, obviously. I'm yeah, more I can't say that. I grew up uh, skiing, so I now I watch that, and ha- I used to have the twin tips and everything. Back when you were a kid, though, you didn't care about like concussions. I went skiing just a couple of years ago, and it's like now I'm all like nervous and shit. Yeah, I had to Isn't talk about weird? it on the X Games this weekend because a couple of guys got knocked out. I'm telling you, man, like 
I didn't watch it for a long time, but you watch it and all these kids are all positive. A lot of them are super young. Um, and you're like, wow, you know, like it's crazy how young these guys are and what they're doing and girls shredding. Sure. But every now and then, you know, you're, you're like, you know, these guys are great, but it's kind of cheesy because they're kind of everyone's so upbeat that it's, right. there's not, you're not even really feeling the danger of it. <laughs> yeah. You know yeah. I mean? yeah. Cause everyone's like, yeah, you did it. And then when someone makes it, every, all their friends come over and celebrate. <laughs> and then, you know, then Jimmy rolls in and he's, you know, he, whoop, poof, and he just, <laughs> and he's out. And we're live on, you know I mean, I was just interviewing a 12 year old girl who won a gold medal and she's like, yeah, you know, me mom. And she's thanking people. And then, and then some 22 year old dude in the park <laughs> on a BMX just gets stiffed. Like his hands are out and he is gone. He's another world. And it's like, go to commercial and then throw to us. And it's like, Jason, talk about, you know, concussions. And I'm like, oh boy. I got to be deadly serious about this, you know, but, but because I've done it so much and been around it so much, there really is a little bit of a, you know, at first, like you were saying back in the day, people get knocked out when they woke up, they would have another ride. Yeah. Yeah. People would let them go back on the ramp and go again <laughs> and they were just sleeping on live television. Yeah. They're doing smelling salts in their face. Yeah. Like, All right. He's back. Get him back up on the ramp. That really big one, the biggest one, the biggest slam ever in the history of skateboarding. Jake Brown at an X Games on Mega Ramp, he fell like 50 feet to the ground and exploded. I was the first person in the flat, so when he exploded, his shoes came off. He hit the ground God. so hard. He's He was on his face with his eyes open, with his nose flat to the ground, not breathing. Oh, my God. So, like, when I got there, I was, like, six feet away from him, and I stopped and was like, he's not, oh, my, like, he's dead. Did you have to? What? How do they get him to breathe? And then all of a sudden he goes, uh, oh, okay. uh, and does the thing. You know when you knock the wind out of yourself. Yes. So he's not awake. His eyes are still open. His body is alive. Oh so my now I know God. the body's alive. Then he starts to wake up. He starts to roll himself over, and I'm like, Jakey, take it easy, take it easy. He rolls over onto his back, and he goes, he goes, how many rides do I have left? Oh my lord! And I was like, dude. You're done for the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But that's... Oh, my Lord. That's, I mean, that was the worst one you've seen, then. That's easily the worst I one. I always wonder that, though. Like, obviously, like every athletic uh, endeavor, your body gets... Uh, starts to kind of not, like, do the things it used to do as you get older. But when it comes to extreme sports, getting older does the fact that you kind of realize your own mortality more as you get older play into aging out even more. Nah. Because most people don't care about that. Yeah. That's interesting. Okay. Just the body I always wonder starts though, to react like, in a way where you can't deny it. You know the consequences more because you're a little older, a little wiser. I didn't know if that played in where you're like, you end up being like Tom Cruise oh, and yeah, Top no. Gun where you're like, I just, I don't have the shot. I don't have it. You know, like <laughs> when he gets I off. mean, it play, it's in there, but mm -hmm. you just, you rational. Like I don't do stuff where I know I'm going to get knocked out. Right. I used to risk it. Right. You know, now I do stuff where I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to make it. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's yeah, real bad or it's hairy, I'll step off huh. as opposed to when I was younger where I'd be like, just try to muscle it in. But still, that doesn't mean that you can still skate and take it easy and make a mistake and get knocked out. Oh, of course. So I know that. But it's like, who am I? You know, yeah. like, what am I willing to do in this life? I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to stop. I want to die skateboarding. Well, see, there you go. That's that changes the mentality right there. So it's like worth it to me. I want to see somebody. There was a comic, and I only know this guy through headshots, seeing him on the walls at clubs. Donnie Baker, R.I.P., passed away this past weekend while he was doing a weekend at the Dayton Funny Bone. And my friend was like, oh, he died in the hotel. He had a heart attack. What an awful way to go. I said, that is the ideal way for yeah, me to go. I yeah. was working yep. a weekend, and I died finishing that we i mean sure i maybe i want it to be columbus instead of dayton but i mean at the end of the now you're half full <laughs> you changed it up no of course i would i want to die doing the road yes. i just want to be on the road all of the fucking time and i know why richard jenny uh unalived himself because he saw the dates drying up and he saw right. the trend and i said when i heard about it i go i get it richard I get it, but I mean, I wish the guy would have kept himself around. Could have did a podcast, maybe, or something, and up. brought up the dates back again because he was just. You can doing... evolve. 
Yes, exactly. He could have evolved, and I wish I could have been in his ear to tell him that. Uh, nevertheless, though, I, I I just always thought that mentality might be interesting, like a fighter pilot or what have you. But let's get into the news now. Yes. That's and to start off, intro. oh, you think you like it? You didn't yeah. like? Well, the other one's Monday Night Football. I don't know if you if you don't watch it. Then I was joking. Oh, okay. They're I'm both sorry. terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I appreciate it though. Oh, I found this. Uh, this guy. We were talking about pornography before. This guy's a big fan of it. Here's Chip McFly sent this bad boy in. This isn't Chip McFly himself. This is just the guy that he sent in. I thought it was fun. Been watching porn for like two weeks straight. I skipped school. Mom spits, but I don't care. I'm probably failing, but I don't care. Go porn, go. Go porn, go. Go porn, go. I'm leaving. I'm living the life, man. I'm living the life. Yeah, that guy's talk about h- cup half full right there. Guy's living the life. He doesn't even care that he's failing. I don't care about that. Not a fig. It's go, go porn, go. Yeah, it's gonna be a tough one to be addicted to. I know? I always said that. I go. I'm so glad like that. How high are the highs? Yeah, and how? I mean, what it's are the? Low, it's pretty low the whole time. Yeah, right? what are the lows exactly? It's when when the that's time, the high, you're, you're like, I'm jerking off in my room by myself to yeah, pull. Really, just kind of like, it never gets good. It never gets. Imagine if he got to fuck a real live woman. That one would shoot him through the roof. You're not gonna go out of your room to get one. Catch twenty two. That's the thing. It's like it should inspire you. That's it. Always inspired you know, me. You watch porn, then you like go to the gym, so you look good, so you can go out and get laid. I didn't do that part of it, but I right. I was inspired. You don't have to look good. You could just be like charismatic. You know what I did? I yes, exactly. I worked out my personality. Yeah, and that's how I. That's what I did. I spent Girls way too much to be dumb time on there. Yeah, you know I don't do. I'm usually the one getting mind fucked, but I can mm. find my way into the web at least. You know what I'm saying? No, I mean that's. You shouldn't talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> I need more of that in my life. You shouldn't talk. That's what that's what other people say too. They go, "Be nicer to yourself." Come on, what are yeah, you doing? It's like you're telling yourself the next person you get involved with is going to torture you and break your heart. Oh yes. Well. So, oh yes. <laughs> no. Oh no. That's I know. not gonna happen. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. You gotta believe. Woman, stop it. I Don't thought people anymore. wouldn't want to sleep with me when I turned fifty, and then I got divorced. My dating apps are. I, I'm like. Solid. Daddies are having a moment right now. Right? Man. It's the big daddy world right now. Something's happening. I'm it's not daddy summer 2023, the yeah. summer of daddy. It might be. Well, I got an email here. This one was interesting. Uh, it was from, uh, who was it from? Alex Paz <laughs> sent it into Josh Potter Show at gmail.com. That's where you can send in all of your roach reportings. You can send in emails that are like this, or you can send in music beds the way Griff Parker did today. Uh, but it says here, day one listener. First time sending an email. Love the show. Would like to be a roaming roach reporter, so I'm going to keep my eyes open on the news. Uh, I'm going to keep my eye on Mr. Unlimited in, uh, specifically. Just wondering, have you or Kirsten, Kirsten's not here today, so we're going to ask Jason. Have you or Kirsten ever had a ghost experience? You stay in a lot of hotels in crazy places. Just wondering if there's a good story or two there. I'll tell you what, I have not had a ghost experience. I'll start yeah, off. Yeah, because they're not real. Right, and I also have a hard enough time seeing people in real life yeah. let right. alone ghosts if a ghost came in here everyone's like there's a ghost I would have never seen it right have you ever because you're so blind seen somebody and gone wait it's a ghost and then they got closer and turned out <laughs> it was a real person no but I'll tell you this I if I see a, sometimes I see people at places and I go that and especially if I'm uh, been drinking or smoking or something to that effect I'll see somebody and I'll be like oh that's Mary and I'll go up to, I'll go, what's up, Mary? And then I'll go, it's not Mary at all. That'll be right. completely wrong. It's just a person with blonde hair. Not a ghost. Though. And uh, No, not a ghost. I'm confusing real people. So, again, if it was like a orb or something, I would always just assume, well, I better get the old script checked out here. Everybody you know? I know that's sort of ghost is crazy. Right. There's never been somebody I've really looked up to yeah. or respected, and they've come up to me and go, Josh, I One saw time. A ghost. Corey Taylor told me that a ghost tried to push him down the stairs while he was holding his baby. And I love Corey Taylor. Right. Like Slipknot is so sick. Yes. But Slipknot. Corey you know, Taylor. Like you made Slipknot. You guys got all scary masks yeah, on. Yeah, you are the you ghost. Mean you're into being scary people all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Scary jumped up and bit you and made you feel like it was pushing you down the stairs. Because <laughs> I'd be so pumped if I saw a ghost. Because if you there's a ghost, that means there's an afterlife. 
This isn't it. Yeah, but I don't know if I'd want the afterlife to just be I'm a ghost around here. Well, you, I think you could travel. You could get in people's cars, get on planes and stuff. Sure, that would be cool, I guess, if I could just be like, well, I'm a ghost in Paris now or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's what I would do. I would travel the world. Yes, that's a good point. I don't think you'd need to eat. What so if because you're clear, you don't need any money. You can't sit in a car though, or a plane, or whatever, and you have to physically move your ghost body to Paris? How I guess you have eternity, so why not just float over the ocean? Well, or if you don't sink through the ground and go through the center of the Earth, you're probably fucking standing on the ground, which means you get in a taxi, sit in the taxi. Well, I don't know the rules. I Maybe mean, you do sink through the Earth. Maybe that's like the fastest if you, way. If you look at movies, you. Right, that's not a bad angle. But if you look <laughs> at movies, you can get in. You could get in a car. You could get. You just can't. I think you could even go through the door if you want. But you sometimes can go through uh, walls. I remember. What am I trying? What movie am I trying to think of where they're sitting in the car and then all of a sudden they? I guess it's the Matrix. I'm thinking of the Matrix. <laughs> those aren't ghosts. Those are graphics. But, or uh, the movie Ghost. <laughs> yeah. Okay. He flicked a penny at one point, so he even pushed a penny. But that's because he really loved somebody. Yeah, he but was massaging her. He was too, in wasn't a train. He? Or like touching her hands while she did right, pottery. Right, but he got in a train. If you can get in a train, you can get in a plane. Ah, uh, there you go. And yeah. some girls say that they have been fucked by ghosts, so maybe there is yeah, some sort crazy. of thing there. Yeah, <laughs> but who knows? Maybe no, they don't. No, what do you mean? Who knows? <laughs> Everyone needs to stop doing that. Who knows? Shit, we do know. So what was? What was Earth's Cor- not flat. God's not real. Did Corey Neither Taylor? Ghosts. Did Corey Taylor not Suck really it. have a, a real reason why he fell down the stairs? So he was like, a ghost must have pushed me. <laughs> no, he didn't, I don't think he fell. He just almost fell. Oh, okay. I don't know. That was as close <laughs> as I ever got. Where I was like, man, I want to believe him. Out of anybody, I want to believe. Sure. Him. Speaking of Corey Taylor, he bought one of my. Well, his uh, Alicia bought one of my shoulder hair porns for cameo for what Corey Taylor. Is that? Can I know now? Can you tell? Yeah, me? sure. No, it's just shoulder hair porn. I just take them out. I would take it out here, but we'd get, you know, demonetized. Oh, real shoulder quick. hair. Yes, sir. Oh, ah, oh. I thought you had hair coming down onto your shoulder. Nope, not head, not head and shoulders. Yeah, no, I'm with you now. Not shoulder length hair. Yeah. Hair on the shoulders. Yeah, gay I, guys, I don't have my pasties on. Gay guys right. like that. Do that, yeah, because it's something to grab, maybe. Not everybody, but there's bears that are like super hairy, and they're like on grinder and stuff with photos of how hairy they are. As in, look at this bonus. I've been seeing, and Christina P shared one with me on Instagram. Mm. I've been seeing very hair suit men who are jacked, yep, like combing it and yep. shit. And I'm like, well, I guess that's big in the in the gays. I guess I got a future somewhere. It they won't, you know, if it all, if these dates, these few dates dry up, <laughs> yeah. I don't have to Richard Jenny myself. I know the spot. <laughs> I can just, you know, yeah. Go to the up. Eagle. The Eagle? Yeah. Is the, that like a bar? It's got big hairy leather daddies in there. All right. Little Jack and they like to stink too. I love, uh, gay uh, bars are. They're super musky. Where was the one I went to? The Bullet? Have you ever heard of that? Uh-uh. That's out here somewhere. I don't know. I just think they're fun. Gay bars are, they're Wait, good you're a real hairy guy and you went to the Bullet? Yep. Why? I went with a f- couple friends. I don't know. It's fu- it's flattering. <laughs> Are you it's gay? A flattering. No, I'm not at all. Why'd you go? Because a couple friends were going. I'm not. A, I'm couple not. Couple of gay opposed. friends. I'm not. Yeah, they're gay. So you got gay friends. I have gay friends. Yeah. All right. You're cool. Thank you. <laughs> ah, right in here we have a guy who's uh, not into men or women. No. He's into. That's a thing. He's into cows. Oh. This coming to us internationally Wait, sexually? from. Paolo Marcus Marara sent this in. Yes, sexually. It's a thing that's happening in India a lot recently, evidently. And it makes me wonder, was this always the case? Because they worship cows. You can't say it recently. That's like when they say the trans people. They've always been out there. Uh There's been cow fuckers out there for centuries. Well, here it says uh, police are on the hunt for for the affected cows after a... (laughs) Wait, affected or infected? Affected. They were affected. What do you mean? Like emotionally? I would imagine. They could tell? Well, in India, they really love cows. They you don't know, let you eat them. They're not going to let you fuck them. I have not, but they're. I hear they're very smart. I played ball with a cow once. You played ball? Yeah. Like fetch? Yeah. And he went and got it and brought it back to Yeah. Him. How long did it take? They don't run, do they? Yeah. They, <laughs> they just walk? It was like a dog, you guys. That's crazy. Yeah, it was pretty. It was, I don't like eating meat. Well, at that, I do find cow, as the more I learn about cows and how smart I they are, it is weird. Them. Yes, exactly. Police are on the hunt for the affected cows. Them. I don't think so either, and I don't think India would be very happy about it because they don't even let you eat them, let alone fuck them. So this uh, pensioner was arrested when a video of him having sex oh, with at least no. two animals went viral. We have the video. 
Uh, I don't think we have the video. Can we, we even? No, we have a still. We have Wait, a still? did the cow okay. sit down for it, or was the cow already sitting down? I don't think cows can sit down. What do you mean? I... He's sitting down right there. Is he sitting? Yeah. Like a dog? I can't really get my... Yeah, he's gra- sitting down. That's the only way he could get... That's a big cat, man. Well, you gotta that get guy on a is step a little stool. guy, too. That is an edgy move. I kind of feel like the cow wanted it. This is bad. Well, Why am I here? Evidently, the recording was seen by police around the world after it was shot in India, and reports uh, in the country state that police in Warda detained this 65-year-old sanitation worker. Still, I know it's old, but still not... What do you mean? Well, no, that well, he's old. Well, when you get 65, who wants to sleep with you? You know, you got to be pretty lonely, but still not a cow. You well, know? my question get is because this, thing. this is not the first occasion this man was caught having sex with right. a cow, evidently. He's probably been doing it since he was a little boy. Yeah, and also, like, he must worship these. I mean, like, it does the, does the worshiping of cows play into his fetish of it? I mean, you're talking about having sex with an underage animal. Well, that's true, too. I guess we didn't check out the age of the cows here. No, cows' brains are permanently underage. Really? Yeah, because they're not, they don't understand love. Not, oh. like, not that kind of love. Is that why you can't have sex with Down syndrome people? Yeah, I mean, wow. <laughs> You're worried about me being here. Well, I'm not. That, that was the trouble. point. I, that was the point. I'm not worried about you being okay. here. <laughs> okay. Well, then, we have our own practices, okay. but... Still, at the end of the well, day, then, yeah, no, I'm my own worst enemy. No, you shouldn't do that either. <laughs> well, you shouldn't, but that's why. You, that's but that's why I never thought about the brain being stunted at a certain age. Yeah, because you know how they say like a dolphin's got the mind of a five year old, mm-hmm. and then like a pig, has got the mind of a five. I did not know this, but yeah, I never and, even equated it to the age of a person. And they're the smartest animals on the planet. Pigs are pigs and, and dolphins. And dolphins, yeah. And so they are I like uh, which one is. More, smarter, but they're both up there, and so they're both. But they're both only as smart as a child, right? Interesting. Which means because dolphins want to f- want a bone. Did you know that? I they but each other. They don't want to bone people. No, they do want to bone people. Really? <laughs> yeah, they rub up on you and stuff. They got like vibrating vaginas. So if you put another animal that's not a human nor a dolphin into the ocean, would it want to fuck that too? Maybe. So maybe I mean we should maybe cancel these dolphins. If or we're going after them. somebody. And maybe, I mean, hey. Because, like, a bear dolphin would be badass. A what? A bear dolphin. What's that mean? I mean, bear, like. A dolphin that impregnated a bear. Oh, a bear dolphin. Yeah. Oh. I thought you meant, like, I'm like, aren't they all bear? (laughs) No. But I get what you're saying. Like a shark bear? A shark bear. Holy shit, dude. (laughs) (laughs) This needs to be a movie. I mean, they're making. You uh, cannot stop a shark bear. They're making cocaine bear. We should make shark bear. Yeah. You say they're talking about shark does cocaine in Florida? Yes, I yeah. saw that story, and they were like, uh, I mean, th- that jaw must have been flying, I mean, at the end of the day, right? I just feel like a, a shark on cocaine is like, oh, no, now he's really pissed? Like, he's a fucking shark, you <laughs> idiot. How I, much? How, do you think when he <laughs> eats you, he does it in a relaxed fashion? Like, he rips your <laughs> yeah, fucking limb from limb. Like, he doesn't need any bumps to go for it. I think we should make them all do cocaine, because then they have less of an appetite. That might... Be, then yeah <laughs> what shark attacks are down but cocaine usage up yeah. with among sharks but i thought it was interesting that this man was having sex and evidently they say in he this report evidently in this report it's interesting to me because uh, in a place where they worship cows it makes me wonder if it's been so ingrained in them if it's fetishized the cows for many of the males in india yeah that's a really disgusting angle Thank you. I'm there. glad I found it. <laughs> yeah. It came to me just this morning, so I'm glad. that That is the ultimate compliment, folks. I'm so happy you're here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, that, was, that was more of the story. I didn't. We don't even need any more of it because it's so delicious in its own right. Uh, anyhow, math, a man has weapons of mass destruction in his home. This was sent in from Jade, who is a first, first-time Roach reporter. Boop, boop, boop. Send a, give her some bells and whistles. Just the facts, ma'am. And I thought this was interesting because uh, a, this is a South Jordan man whose home was uh, destroyed. They they couldn't just go in and take the weapons of mass destruction out. They ended up destroying this whole structure anyways because the weapons were so crazy they couldn't be removed. What do you mean they couldn't be removed? That's like, what I know. The math doesn't compute with me. Did he have like a tripwire or something? Well, it was just so much of it evidently that if they moved it, it, would, it could pull, uh, you know, 
make other things. It says here, in addition to the six counts of possession of weapons of mass destruction, <laughs> McManagle was also found guilty of two counts of assault on a peace officer, blah, blah, blah. When police served a warrant, McManagle was found at with at least 20 pounds of explosive materials in his home. Uh, the warrant was served based on information they had guns and was violating a protective order. Most of the explosives uh, were detonated on site. So it's like, at the end of the day, they just blew up the things that they were scared about blowing up. Yeah, I call bullshit. Could you imagine living in the house next door and you're like, they're going to do what now? Yeah. Yeah, they, I, maybe there was something else that they had to to burn there. To yeah, like sure. what if it's something that he had like a, something that if the, if it came out that he had that, they'd be like, where the fuck did he get that? And yeah. then there's a lot more questions raised. Like photos of Michael Jordan being <laughs> gay or something. <laughs> yeah. He had all the presidents on it. He had the fly list for Epstein or something like, and he had pictures to prove Trump it. getting paid on. <laughs> yeah, he had all the things. They had to blow it up. <laughs> that, guy, that guy had priceless information. <laughs> priceless. It's just so weird to me that they would blow up the house after they were like, we're worried this will blow up. Yeah, I don't believe that. It's crazy. Yeah. Officers brought in armored cars and evacuated homes in the area. I'd still be pissed. I'm like, you're okay, so I have to leave the area. Yeah. My fucking house that I bought's here. <laughs> Who's paying for that if one of these goes off a little extra? I'm not leaving. Look at that. There's a picture of it going down there, too. I wouldn't leave either. I'd be like, if my house is about to blow up because of this, I'm going to be in it, and then you're really going to feel bad. Yep. Agreed. Fucks. But boy, oh boy, that's a nice... Don't you always wonder... I mean, I have never owned a home in my life, but... Don't you always wonder when you see a criminal like that having a major, like just a house, like you go, this guy has a mortgage. Mm. Isn't that crazy to you? Not really. Like the guy, remember the guy in Cleveland, Ariel Castro? He was keeping women in his basement and you're like, but he owned a home. Hey, I never thought of it like that. How do these psychopaths own homes? It's just Damn crazy. It seems like a lot of things, a what lot of if hoops your mom to gives it to you. Some of these homes you're thinking That's is a good point. sweet. They're probably dog shit. Sure, but it's still a house that they own. You know what I mean? They have to go through the papers. I've owned a house. It's overrated. Is it hard? It's hard to do, though, isn't it? It's not really. It seems hard to me. It seems Everything seems fucking hard, I guess. I was going to say, it's hard to pay rent, too. No, I mean, I do. that. That's the thing. I do that, and I go, how am I going to? How would I own a house? You got to have the payments. You got to have gotta the papers. You got to sell guns. I obviously. know. You, evidently, I got to fucking get my munitions up. And then I can have them come in and... Uh, Stressful business, though. What's that? Having a... Mu- Selling being a gun guns. Guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, everyone yeah, that yeah. comes over is interested in guns. It's never chill. Like, like at really least... interested in illegal ones, too. You <laughs> yeah, know? And yeah. you're like, this guy's probably trustworthy. No, he's not. He yeah. wants illegal guns. Like, he's for sure untrustworthy. What do you think he wants them for? You know what I mean? Like, fucking pigeon hunting? Like, this yeah. dude's going to fucking kill somebody with him. <laughs> he might kill you. That's like every day. Every day you get, yeah, Jimmy's coming over, Bob's coming over, Bob's murdered like 75 people and Bob needs an Uzi. Like, cool, just don't piss Bob off. Yeah. And you're like, hey, man, hey, Bob, like, bullets have gone up. <laughs> and you've, they, they legitimately went up and you've got to tell Bob that. Like, fuck, man. You're trying to show him all the papers. Bob's going to shoot me. The fuck, it's, it's, you're so right because you could be a weed dealer or a drug dealer or something like that. And every now and then you go, well, that's just Jeff. You know, Jeff just wants to do drugs. He's fine. He's safe enough. There's no one just chill buying guns. Right. Like, yeah. you tell Bob the bullets went up, and Bob's like, look, I don't have any extra cash, but I got a couple of girls I can give you. And you're like, ew, Bob. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, what do you mean you've got girls you can give me? Or Bob just shows up. He's like, listen, I don't have money, but in those barrels, we've got a bunch of Asians. They're all yours. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah like, now see? you're like in the sex trafficking business. I don't want to sell Bob a gun now, but if you don't sell Bob a gun, he's going to kill you. Yeah. Well. Tough racket. So yeah. I my heart bleeds for all the yeah, arms dealers out there. Break. Now I I I, I uh, am curious. You obviously you do a, a, a wonderful show, a topical thing. You, you talk about the Bud Light thing. Oh yeah. All yeah. the nonsense with that. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't know. Isn't I, it crazy? I'm, there's I'm still gay, fallout. So no, I know. I'm uh, like I'm like everybody's an idiot. I think it's yeah. It's all very silly. I'm still going to drink twelve Bud Lights on a beautiful summer day. They didn't even. They just gave they... her one can. One can. Let her be on a can. I don't even know how you know about it. I, Who cares? It's so Gave a Chinese lady a can. Is she annoying? Yeah. This <laughs> is fucking lame as fuck. I wouldn't follow that, dumbass. But you did. Like, you care if she got a can? Like, give Trump a can. Give fucking yeah. everybody a can. I don't give a... Toby Keith's annoying. If he was on the can, I wouldn't care. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah, everybody sucks. You know, everyone's got a good reason to suck. And I just want to drink can, my $2 shitty beer, all right? There's so much more annoying stuff out there than that. I know. You know? It's crazy. And people are like, oh, it's a... They're talking about other things like this is a distraction, and then they cry about Bud Light like it's fucking the worst it's thing. Rich that ever people, happened. man, rich people should pay taxes. Everybody should pay taxes. Football, <laughs> church, that's it. If you're not talking about that, shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, in this case, the backlash has come back around. The rubber band has snapped all the way the other way, and an entrepreneur has recently launched a canned cocktail. This was sent in by T Bone, oh, no. and it's just called Gay Water. Oh, come on, man. And it's aimed at LGBTQ drinkers. No, I'm not drinking it. Don't give me gay... You fucking drink gay water. Fuck <laughs> off. Don't but tell it's me that. that. Don't, don't... I don't... No. They're looking to capitalize on Bud Light's mistakes. Don't do it, gay people. I'm not telling... I don't have to tell gay people. They know. Uh, that gay... That's a paid gay right there. <laughs> that is not a real gay. <laughs> you think that it's a, a psyop? Gay. Yeah, yeah, that guy spat it out as soon as he walked off. <laughs> <laughs> This will probably change our marketing and maybe even distribution strategy, no. Hoddison said, referring to Bud Light's ill-fated uh, tie-up with Mulvaney, which has recently sent its sales numbers uh, tumbling nearly 25%, but not in the way that me many would think. It will fuel us. We are a brand that is unafraid to fight for our community. <coughs> it just seems like a counterproductive marketing strategy to just name it gay water. I don't know. It's offensive. It's silly, yeah. And it's also like they, it's does the be, thing that makes us, that makes make us look bad. Our mission is to destigmatize the word "gay" and to start to create representation in spaces that traditionally don't have. What about n bomb water? Products. Yeah. What about ass water? Yeah. I drink some of that. You know, that's kind of gender neutral though in terms of uh, whom we are sleeping with. It could be a lady's ass water. Yeah, it just seems like. I get it. You got you got all bummed out that people were angry about the trans lady that was happy about having a can with her face on it. But come on, guys. It's almost like they want people to be more bummed out, like by being like, it's in your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah. We don't care. Fuck. It's kind of yeah, like the thing we were saying about YouTube earlier, where it's like people want to rebel against it or whatever. The gay protesters that dress like nuns. Mm. You know, you're triggering people. You're doing the same thing that everyone else is doing. Right. The uh, inverse of it. Yeah, I don't. I don't like rubbing it back in. You know. I yeah, that like makes a lot of sense. Somebody wants to tell you you're an f bomb. Great. There's no need to retaliate. You know. I get that totally. Yeah, it's just a, it's such a if wild. You're gay, just go suck a dick. Like, isn't that not the whole? You know what I mean, That's and fun. as a straight man, can I not drink gay water? Then would it be frowned upon? Would I be appropriating culture or whatever? I, maybe I like the taste of some gay water. Sure, I just don't see how water's gay. Yeah, it's and it's also alcohol. Like straight so putting water. water. I don't know if you could put water. I don't know why they could water put water on it. Or straight is all water straight. I get that. I and guess this is the, the only water case. That's kind that. of what it's asking. It's going like this is gay water. All that other shit, straight water. I just yeah, it's like black water. Like yeah, what? yeah, yeah. That's like fucking when you, when weird. You say yeah. that, it's like what? No, <laughs> no, this you is know? black water. White water. Like no. They actually did make a black water, but it wasn't race. It was like dark. Remember that? Do you guys remember that? No. It was like charc. There was charcoal in it or something. Oh yeah, they were. They were but really it didn't say it was. For it black was people. called black water. Yeah, though. That's yeah, yeah, different. yeah. Yeah, they had to make the water black so it was different. But yes, yeah. it was interesting. They're what? They're like, no, this isn't gay water. It's gay water. Yeah, it's no. Just, yeah. <laughs> just leave it again. Just let it go. It does confuse the brain. Yeah. Are you now? Uh, because you are a thrill seeker and such, when you eat, do you enjoy spicy food? No, I'm really bad at it, but every now and then I will do it because it's kind of fun. Right, it's a thrill. Yeah. I think, I mean, I don't know, growing up I, I kind of was into it, uh, and I destroyed my taste buds. So I, I eat oh. the spiciest food all the time, and I really enjoy it, and I, uh. and I almost can't eat something mild because it's just oh, like wow. I'm eating nothing. I'm eating something bland, you know? Oh, so I wow. put hot sauce on, like... Pretty much everything. Hey, I'm the, I'm super touchy with it. I ate a spicy burger for a commercial with Tony Hawk, and it had ghost pepper. Oh, I love that. in it. And I had one bite, and he flew to New York that day. He ate the whole burger. He was fine. I had one bite, and I drove. It was about thirty minutes back to my house, and I shit and vomited at the same time. <laughs> shit and vomited. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know. And I was like, wow, I have a real reaction to spicy food. Did it burn both ways out? And Nah, uh, it burned my, hurt my stomach in the car on the way there. I was like, I don't know, it actually hurts. And then I went to take a shit and I couldn't shit. And I was like, what the hell? 
And then finally I feel it coming on. And then as I get shit, I'm like, ah, oh, nah. <laughs> grab the trash can and vomit it and shit at the same time. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that is a spicy sandwich. I've had hangovers do that to me where I'm sitting there shitting yeah. and I'm like, Ugh. you know, you start puking. You're like, oh, God, I got to clean up my life. Yeah. But in this case, uh, a woman is suing a San Jose, California area restaurant and its employees for negligence and emotional distress, claiming that one of the caterie's mega spicy dishes was unfit for human consumption and left her with health issues that lingered for two years. Whoa. The, the complaint was filed in the Superior Court of Santa Clara County in July 3rd, and it alleges uh, that this woman suffered permanent bodily injuries after trying the Dragon Balls appetizer at Coup de Thai in Los Gatos. Because that was spicy. Well, evidently, the lawsuit, which uh, originally reported in the Bay Area, blah, 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 claims that uh, she felt her entire mouth and the roof of her mouth, her tongue, her throat, and her nose burn like fire. The Dragon Balls are spicy chicken meatballs made with green onion, kefir lime, leaves, cilantro, chili, and rice per coup de thai's menu, which warns customers of the $11 dish's heat with an image of a red pepper. So this woman ordered it and actually told them, she goes, I don't tolerate spice. Can you make it mild? And I guess they made but it she as asked mild for as a they chili. Could. Wa- you asked for the spicy chicken with no spice, right? Like, get the fuck out of the restaurant, idiot! <laughs> and they were like, "All right," and they gave her the the, the meal as mild as they could, and, the and evidently it affected her. A whole one in her mouth. She didn't bite it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She put a whole one in there because she's a hog. And she claimed she was poisoned, made ill, and burned, uh, necessitating, or, or yeah, necessitating in medical care. The scathing claim. How much do you think? This is what I don't understand I about lawsuits up. like this. No money. How, how much do you think you can get out of a place called coup de thai? Oh, uh, does it matter? Do, then they like, don't you get paid from insurance or something? One would, I guess that's true. I, I, I know, but uh, I, I still, I don't know. It's just like how much at the end of the day. It's, if it's insurance, then why does the restaurant care? Does then the insurance drop you? That's what I, I never understand how these things work. I feel like the justice system, when it comes to claims and, and monetary stuff like that, everyone just kind of washes out. And it, it, and at the end of the day, everyone loses money, and the fucking lawyers and the courts all get a bunch of money. I feel like a couple of days after she ate that. She like sucked a dick. She got banged out. <laughs> she laughed at a fucking comedy. You know what I mean, like bullshit. <laughs> it says she incurred permanent injuries that will forever be damaged to her body. Harden the fuck up. These consequences are the direct result of the food being served to her and them being unfit. Yeah, I would. Dra- I would bring in other bitch. people in that ate nah. the regular version and been like, my body is yeah. just fine. Yeah. How could it have been a restaurant that's been there for years that serves that thing and everyone doesn't ask for the mellow one, eats the spicy right. one, right? And no complaints. And like, I'd how like, many deaths has there been? If I was a lawyer, I'd be like, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I would like to point to the uh, the plaintiff's asshole, and it is not blown out in any capacity, and I hear no complaints of her asshole in here. Uh, it's all it, her throat. Is it a crime to serve a spicy chicken ball to a bitch? <laughs> you know? Yeah. A true idiot woman indeed. You weak-ass bitch. Idiot woman. <laughs> Get out of here. But I was, I thought that was interesting that they made no mention, like you, you shat and puked at the same time. Yeah. This woman does I bring up complain. any sort of uh, bowel aspect in her report or her claim. Yeah, I call bullshit. That's right there. I would I would use that as my first defense. Defense number one, if I'm the def- uh, the lawyer for this restaurant, I say, show me the asshole. Yeah. How I, much did it burn? I hear no statements in that whatsoever. I think if you go to a spicy food restaurant or a spicy dish and then try to sue them for it being spicy, that was your plan. It's like, you know, those ladies you see on YouTube that do the fake slip and then they realize the camera got them? Yes. That's you funny. see that camera, you see him do it, you're like, wow, that bitch really tried to do that. Isn't that funny? Because it's like, you would think these cameras would catch more things like that and help people in their lawsuits, but what you really find out is how many people are faking it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. People know workers' comp is bad. You can be tougher. You can break stuff. That's like that that baseball guy. There's like a new era and you're a bitch. <laughs> you know I mean, there's a, this new bitch era where you're like, oh, I can't go. Yes, you can. Yeah. Adrenaline can make you do anything. You don't have enough adrenaline. You're getting paid millions of dollars to play baseball. You're a bitch and yeah. you're growing other bitches. People watch you and go, oh, he's bowing out because he kicked the cooler. 
You're you're ruining this. Sp- I mean, I guess you're not ruining. Well, he. The sport. I think his adrenaline was pumping, and he smashed his foot on the cooler and break. I'm gonna broke a, fuck a bunch of bones in his foot. fucking toe off. Play the game tomorrow. <laughs> like sack up. That's interesting. I I think that's funny. That yeah, he should he should just play. DH hit home runs then. If that's the case, if he can't run, wear a brace, cortisone shot, <laughs> yeah. take some painkillers, maybe shot of whiskey. <laughs> I mean, how long's the game go? Nine innings. It doesn't have a time period. Yeah, it's pretty long, but still, stack up. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jason, so much fun having you in here for the first time. I'd love to have you again yeah, sometime man. if you're down. Fuck uh, yeah. Tell everybody where you want them to find you, what you want to plug, everything. Uh, at Wolfmate on Instagram. Uh, TheJasonEllis.com for my weak-ass tour dates. There, there's like three of them. They're going to come back. But it's the summer. I'm doing stuff. Going to the comedy store this morning, tonight. I'm, Hell I'm yeah. trying, man. That's all I can do. You're the man. I, um, you're, but I love when you come around to the store. You're always uh, so nice and cordial. I and love that place. I yeah. feel like every time I go there, people let me in. I feel like I'm the luckiest guy on the planet. Yeah, we love having you. Yeah. I mean, I'm no spokesperson for them, but I love seeing you there. Yeah, I love when you see me there and say, what's up? I'm like, what's up? That I know him. So I can't, I can't be that bad. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I think when you do it. <laughs> and make sure you check out the Jason Ellis show, obviously. Oh, yeah, and Hulk versus Wolf. Yes, awesome. Thank you so much. And uh, for me, I told you the date's up front. Make sure you go over to my link tree. Buy them up. It's uh, at Josh underscore Potter on Instagram, at J underscore Potter on Twitter, or you can find it right in the description here. Make sure you rate, review, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and send in all your things to Josh Potter Show at gmail.com. Otherwise, we will see you right here next Wednesday on the Josh Potter Show. Thank you to Alex. Thank you to Jack. And thank you to you, Jason Ellis. Thanks, mate. Thanks, we'll have everybody. a good week.